So the other day, one of my guildies was complaining in guild chat about how he's been reappraising a slot 1 and 6 with Rune for months, trying to get a new highest speed for those slots. And I, along with another one of my guildies, advised him to just quit trying, quit reapping Swift Runes. <laughs> just farm giants instead. And in this video, I'm going to explain why people advise this. I will say I'm not the first person to come up with this advice. It's been around for a long time. I'm just going to show you the statistics as to why people say this and hopefully in such a way that it's easy to understand. Um, that said, it is your account. You know, don't let me or anyone else tell you how you should play your account. Just do what you enjoy. That said, if you are looking to progress in Summoner's War in an optimal fashion, then you should use your resources wisely. Unless you're a total whale and reaps are nothing to you. But for the majority of players, reappraisal stones are kind of precious. So you should use them in a more optimal fashion. So anyways, let's get into the video. For just a quick TLDW, there's only one thing you care about on Swift Runes, and that's speed, whereas Violent Will Runes are much more versatile. So if you re into something like this, or this, you'd probably be more than satisfied. However, if it was a Swift Rune, you'd be left feeling disappointed. This Swift Rune, for example, I would love to have as a Violent Rune. I would gem an attack, grind the speed, attack, and HP. It would almost instantly see use. However, it's been sitting in storage forever now just because I have no one that needs it and I'm not really willing to re it. I'll also add that anything you want to have happen to a rune will have some percentage chance, and that same exact desire from a reappraisal stone will always have a lower chance by some certain fraction depending on the rune slot you're reapping. This is because reappraisal stones are pulling 4 possible substats out of 10 total possible substats and then rolling those stats. So you always have this second roll happening whenever you're reappraising. That's why reappraisals will always have a lower chance than simply powering up runes. Whatever percent chance the desired outcome of powering up a rune is, reapping to achieve that same desired outcome is lesser to some degree of 0.4 to 0.57. So that's the TLDW for this video. Um, I'll get into some actual numbers now. So this is showing our percent chance to get any quad roll from a particular rune. And we see it's one out of 256 legend runes should get a quad roll. Not necessarily speed, not necessarily a good quad roll, just one in every 256 can get a quad roll. Meanwhile, looking at the different scenarios for reappraisal stones, we see that for slot two, four, five, six, we are pulling four random substat substats out of 10 possible substats, which makes it 0.1563% and takes 640 reap stones. Um, similarly, we can look at our very best case scenario for reappraisal stones, which is a slot one and three with an eight. So we're pulling four substats out of seven possible, and it still takes 448 reappraisal stones compared to 256 legend runes. And translating that into time, assuming three and a half reaps per week, I'm not sure exactly if that's reasonable free to play. Um, I just don't know the exact amount of reaps we get from events and that sort of thing, but I think it's okay. Okay, estimate three and a half reaps per week. Then we can get a quad roll from reapping slot one and three with innate in about two and a half years. So quadrals are not what you should be chasing when it comes to reappraisal stones. And swift runes, that's exactly what you're doing. You're reappraising to try and get that coveted quadral speed. And this is one in every two and a half years you can get a quadral, and that could be 20 speed. So it's not not something you should strive for, but you're not necessarily looking for quad rolls when you're reapping. You're looking at maybe greater than 18 speed, or at least 18 speed, I should say. I think that's a reasonable goal when it comes to violent will runes in particular. Not so much with Swift, but we can see our chance to power up runes to at least 18 speed for various rune types. So a six star blue rune with a base speed of six has a 2.7% chance, or one out of every 36 
blue six star runes with a base speed of six should be able to roll into 18 speed which is definitely usable one of my best slot one violent runes is exactly that it's got uh, 22 speed or no 25 speed because i put a plus five in it i'm very liberal with my grinds because i just don't care i yeah but whatever anyways moving on you'll you'll see each one is significantly lower than i only looked at legends for reappraisal because we only reappraise legends or at least you should only reappraise legends don't reappraise hero <laughs> anyways your best chance out of reappraising into at least eight, 18 speed from a slot 1 and 3 and 8 is 1 out of every 28 reappraisal stones. Whereas here it's 1 out of every 23 is your worst chance for 6 star legend runes that start at 4 and can finish 18. So even your worst chance is better than your best chance. And you'll see that going down the list. So chance of reaps to roll at least 20 speed which is more reasonable for swift um certainly if you get it from violent or will you're ecstatic but swift in particular you only care about the one stat so again your best chance is one out of every 54 reaps from a slot one and three and eight compared to one out of every 48 six stars with base speed of four and then at least with 22 or at least 22 speed, I should say. It's uh, one out of every 141 reaps. Um, so anywhere between 140 and 200 reappraisal stones to get at least 22 speed from just a reap of any particular six star legend. So again, translating into time, and this is in weeks, we see it's 57 to 40 weeks. So like here, 52 weeks, basically, that's a year. So Reappraising a slot two, four, five, six, you don't really uh, reap slot two swift for speed, but you can reap slot two main stat speed for just efficiency. That's certainly a reasonable thing to do. 52 weeks is a year to get at least 22 speed from reapping swift runes. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you were reapping violent will and being satisfied with your 18 speed rolls, Looking at that same slot, slot 2456 with an 8 is every 10 weeks. So by the time you get one Swift Rune with at least 22 speed, you could have had a whole Violent set, four Violent Runes with at least 18 speed. So I think that's the most convincing way I can tell you to quit reapping Swift Runes and instead re-up violence or will. Um, the next part of this video is more so just like stats for nerds. So you must be like at least this nerdy to continue and the rest of you are welcome to leave. I mean, it's your life. You, can have, <laughs> you could have left whenever you wanted. But before you leave, you should leave a like and subscribe because I'd appreciate that. Um, so anyways, what I've been looking at is just the percent chance to reappraise a rune right or to power up a rune but i'm not taking into account the percent chance to actually obtain the rune and then do that thing so these are values taken from swore farm which similar to what people did with the crit rate data they just have a whole bunch of trials and collected data swore farm has the same thing so it's like 50,000 giant b12 runs and they get this so the chance of a rune dropping is 73 and a half percent which the other stuff that would drop is, of course, your Rainbow Mons, Mystical Scrolls, Rune Crafting Materials, that sort of stuff. The chance of it being Swift is 21.1% chance. It's rounded here, so that's why I don't see the 0.1. But anyways, what surprised me is the lowest percent chance is actually Despair. I would think it'd be Swift, but it's actually Despair. Um, and then Rare 62, Hero 34.8, and Legend 3.2. And uh, these actually get updated fairly often. And the making of this video, the percents have changed which has been like a week or so. Anyways, with these numbers, I can calculate the chance of getting a swift ray rune, a swift hero rune, and a swift legend rune from a run of giants. And it's actually about the same as getting a nat five from a missile scroll, a half a percent. So about one in 200 giant runs are a legend swift rune. It's kind of neat. So that's not necessarily a 
good Legion Swift Rune though, so what's the chances that it actually has speed? Well, I'm not looking at innate here because it makes the math a little weird, but the chance of getting a Swift Rune with a speed substat for slot 1 and 3 and slot 2, 4, 5, 6 for rare here in Legend, those are the chances. So we see that 1 in every 504 Giants B12 runs, you should get a Legend Rune with speed, which is... 4,500 energy and about 1,400 crystals. Meanwhile, the chance of getting a swift rune with six speed as the substat. So rather than, you know, four or five speed, exactly six speed as the base speed. Um, it's basically three times this. So 504 times four or times three is 1,512. Um, that's how it works because it's one out of three chance that it has four one out of three chance that it has five one out of three chance that it has six so it just gets multiplied by three essentially so this would also get multiplied by three so 13,608 energy about 4,300 crystals to get a six star legend rune with base speed of six from giants moving down we see the combined chances of getting a six star legend swift rune with at least 18 speed. So getting the rune from giants and then powering it up to at least 18 speed. And that happens in about 8,040 runs, which in 100 runs per day, if you're running giants 100 times, so 10 refills, you'd get it in about a quarter of a year. So three months. That's not too shabby, but 18 speed, meh, nothing great. I should look at 22 speed. Um, maybe I'll change that real quick, but anyways. This is more so what I wanted to show you is getting a six star legend swift. Oh, let me scroll down. Getting a six star legend swift slot two, four, five, six with 30 speed from giants is one in every 31,337,654 runs, which at 100 runs per day is about 860 years. Now, what's surprising me, and my math could totally be wrong, and if you're really good at probability, feel free to yell at me in the comments. I would not mind that at all. Um, <laughs> what I found was the chance of getting a Legend Swift from Giants and reapping it into 30 speed for a slot 2, 4, 5, 6 is the exact same thing. So the difference is you can reappraise any legend right it doesn't have to start with speed so it's only about a 1 in 200 chance to get any legend from swift or from giants and then the percent chance to uh combining that with the percent chance from reapping you get this number and then over here <laughs> you have to actually get not only a six star legend swift rune from giants but it has to have a base speed of six and then combine that with the percent chance to actually power it up to 30 speed and that just really surprised me that they would be the same exact number like th there's not even any rounding issues it's the same thing so i guess i need to scroll over a little more there like what the heck that's crazy at least i find that fascinating um now one difference would be of course at 100 runs of giants per day, it'd be 860 years to achieve this thing that should never happen. And for reappraising, at three and a half reappraisals per week, it would be a whole lot longer. So unless uh, Futurama happens and we can put our heads in jars and live much longer, most of us should not have this happen to us in our lifetime. And now my girlfriend is here. so. That means I'm going to quit recording. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this video. I appreciate you all watching and hope you enjoyed looking at the numbers. And uh, yeah, do what you want. Bye, everyone.